In this video of the KSID overview series, I'm going to show you how to access the AKD servo drive configuration screens. You do not have to use a separate AKD workbench GUI to access drive parameters, as that software has been integrated into the KSIDE. This brings the added benefits of not having to set up IP addresses for each servo drive and removes the need to have extra cables going to each drive's service port. In order to access the AKD drive configuration screens, you must first go to the EtherCAT Devices section which you can access by double-clicking on the EtherCAT node of the Project Explorer. Do a scan devices, which I have already done, which will find all the EtherCAT nodes, including AKD drives in the system. Then if you connect to your controller and do a compile and download, you'll make sure that this EtherCAT setup and your PLC program will be downloaded to the controller. Then you can open up the EtherCAT section of the Project Explorer and double click on the AKD drive that you would like to connect to. Once that opens up on the main window, you can click on the configuration tab and it will show you all these steps I just went through as well as the last steps which you either can enable online configuration mode which is something we'll do in a different video or you can start your PLC application. While the PLC program is running, these configuration screens become active. So once the EtherCAT gets up and running, the controller can communicate to each AKD drive and in turn communicate to the KSIDE software and these screens will automatically pop up. Now these are the same screens that you can access through the separate AKD Workbench GUI but the benefits of doing it through the KSIDE beyond having to install a separate piece of software is you don't have to set up IP addresses to each node because we're using the generic EtherCAT address 123 in the order that they appear on the EtherCAT network and we're using the same EtherCAT cables that go from the controller to each EtherCAT node so you don't have to have extra cables in your control cabinet going to each service port of each AKD drive. Once these screens are active while your motion control program is running you can go in and access different AKD drive parameters. Maybe you want to change the current velocity position limits, or you can use the single axis drive scope to plot command versus actual, either velocity feedback or position feedback, or you can go into the servo gains tab of the scope to change all the main tuning parameters in the drive. Once you're done, note that you would have to click save the device to save any drive parameters that you did change to non-volatile memory or else everything will be erased after a power cycle of the drive. Also note that many of the options including the enable, stop, changing the operation mode, disable clear fault buttons are grayed out. You, many things you cannot do while your EtherCAT motion control program is running. So when you have your project running, the motion control program is in full control of enabling or disabling the drive, clearing faults, changing operational mode. That's also why you will not see certain screens such as service motion or our auto tuning screen. You cannot use these while the program is running, so we auto hide those. If you would like to use those screens, you must use the online configuration mode through this button here, which you can only do when the program is not running. We'll cover this in a separate video.